Hey everyone, I'm on here a little bit early, but you know, thought I would get on just before 10 p.m. this Thursday night. Is everyone excited about uh, about uh, being here tonight? I want to see a show of hands, a show of, of likes, whatever you you know whatever it be maybe some hearts even who knows. Uh, I have some I have a I have a plan that I've been thinking about. I've been working on. It's very simple. It just came to me, and it's something that I think that we can use to defeat the Marxist globalist agenda that's been going on. Uh, and it's been happening. You know you know that there's agenda to essentially make the world a global, uh, one global government. It's been going on. This has been going on for more than a century. Who knows, maybe centuries, but as far as it's um, the specific planning has been going on for about a century at least so what I want to do is I want to to show you this plan and before I do that I'd like to explain why this plan is important and you may have some ideas as well and I want to hear those ideas so please give me your ideas let me know what you think uh, but first let's talk about why we need this plan and plans like this Hey guys, if you want more great content from me, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Come on, what are you waiting for? You know in the world today we have a globalist agenda. Essentially they want a one world government where everyone falls under one set of laws you know, everything is simplified, streamlined. Now, they call this wonderful. They call this an awesome thing. This is so great. You know, you're going to have, you don't, everything's simplified for you. You just follow orders and it's, you don't have to worry about no borders. You know, they talk about it, no borders, man. You can just go anywhere. not have to worry about passports or not. Just go anywhere. Cross right over. Now, we know why this is a problem. If you have any common sense, you know why this becomes a problem for many reasons. One of which is that every, you know, there are many regions on the planet that have different cultural values, different ideas, how to do things, how to, how to operate. Some of those places have good ideas, and some of those places have terrible ideas. So what we have to do is we have to figure out how we implement a plan to stop that. We have to diversify. Everybody knows that when you're making an investment, what do you do? You diversify your portfolio. Why? Everybody, you can answer this yourself. If you're in, involved in investing, you understand why. If you don't diversify your portfolio, when something goes wrong, <laughs> you lose everything because you, you had it in one particular sector, one area, that area went bad and now you got nothing. If you diversify your portfolio, a few areas might go bad, a few areas are going to go great, and you kind of mitigate any damage that's going to happen in your overall portfolio and that kind of saves you a lot of trouble. So this is why we don't want globalism. We don't want globalism because if, for instance, uh, in America we have freedoms. We have a constitution that protects our rights and our liberties. If we have a one world government, a global government, they may eliminate that. They might say, well, we don't need that. So what happens is as you reduce the amount of governance, the amount of sovereign, sovereign states, you actually reduce the chance that you're going to have a few good ones that, that allow for freedom and allow us to have our God-given rights. And so this is why we want to attack. We want to attack the globalist agenda in several ways. And this is what I'm talking about tonight. So if, you're, mm. if you are seeing this live, even if you're not, if you're seeing this video, please share this video with everyone because it's so important that we do this. It's so important that we that we cut right to the roots of the globalist agenda and it's it's gonna be I think it's gonna be relatively easy to do it if we have a few people in office who are fearless who are not afraid of the backlash and what might come well we already have someone like that we have Donald Trump Donald Trump I believe was God sent why he's fearless God understands that. God knew that Donald Trump wasn't going to be afraid to do something like this. 
So let me unveil it for you right now. Is everybody ready? Drum roll. Do you want a drum roll? Here's the drum roll. What I call this, this is essentially, actually it'll start this way, this will be an executive order by President Trump if he should so choose to uh, to do something in this way. I mean, I think it's fantastic, but hey, I could be wrong. But here it is. I call it the American Citizen Immunity Directive. I'll say it again. The American Citizen Immunity Directive. And of course, the acronym for that is ACID. And I'll tell you why it's ACID. It's ACID. My idea is ACID because it erodes and it corrodes and it, it's corrosive to the globalist agenda. It's going to destroy the one world government agenda, cut it right off of the knees. And that's what I'm hoping to do. Now, this plan in and of itself may not do that, but it's one of the ideas that are going to, that's going to do that. So we need this. We need to, we need to cut off the globalist agenda before it even gets off the ground. To some degree, it's already off the ground in, in many areas. And in America, it was well on its way. But if the American people decided, you know, we got to stop something here. we got to take a look at what we're doing here because we are putting a lot of people in danger by allowing this. And you see the Democrats, the left wing now, what are they doing? They're trying to keep the globalist agenda alive by doing what? One of the ways, <clears throat> immigration. They're allowing immigrants to come in without a wall. Just no wall. Yeah, just come right on in. That defeats the purpose of destroying the globalist agenda. We have to destroy it. So this is this is how my American Citizen Immunity Directive works. Once the president signs this, this is what would happen around the world. As you know, the United States provides much military defense and uh, financial assistance to many governments and many countries around the world. You know this. You know, you can't really go anywhere without <clears throat> seeing American military troops in defense of many countries. There's a few that don't, obviously, but, you know, you see a lot of them. And, of course, some of the things you don't see is that many of these countries are getting American aid. They're getting it by our government, and they're also getting it by citizens. So there's, there's a lot going on here. So here's the way I want this to be done. Now, this has a lot to do with the Constitution. So maybe I uh, should have called this the American Constitutional Immunity Directive. But I wanted to be more specific. Yes, it involves the Constitution, but here's how this is going to work. For example, let's say you are a, an American citizen traveling around the world. You're on a world tour. You're going to Italy. You're going to Spain. You're going to Malaysia. You're going to China. You're going to these places. Here's how this is going to work. Anywhere you go... Now, China, it may not work because China doesn't get... I don't know how much aid they get from America, but any country that you go to that gets any kind of uh, American military defense or and or American financial assistance in any way, you are allowed to live in that country, not live, but visit when you're visiting. You're allowed to visit with the same protections that the American Constitution provides to you. For instance, freedom of speech. You are literally, in these countries, going to be allowed to speak your mind, even if they have laws in that country that say that you cannot. Now, a lot of people say, oh, you're, you're chipping away at their sovereignty. So isn't that kind of counterproductive? Isn't it kind of, isn't it kind of lending itself um, to the very thing you're trying to stop, which is the globalist one-world government agenda? You're kind of tinkering with the sovereignty of that nation? Not so fast. Not so fast. Because we're giving them something, we are providing a service to them that, for the most part, without that service, they probably wouldn't have their sovereignty because some other country would swoop in and destroy them. So the point is this, nothing is free. We are providing them with something for free, well, you know, relatively for free. In other words, they're getting it 
um, and they're not really kind of they're not really giving us much back. In some in some cases, they're not giving us anything back. So the least they can do is allow our citizens, we the people, because again, we are the U.S. government, all of us. We should be able to go into that country and live as an American citizen would live in America. Now, I'm not saying we can live there. I'm saying that when we visit. So, for instance, if their government, the government of that country, was to imprison or, or detain or fine or do anything derogatory to an American citizen who violates one of their laws that does not violate the American Constitution, our country would immediately cease any foreign aid and military defense to that country. Immediately. And, and that means any citizen. I'm not even talking about, I'm not even just talking about uh, it has to be so many citizens. No, I'm talking about any citizen. Any citizen. Okay? So what that would do is that would that would um, now I'm not saying the country would be happy about it, but they kind of have to weigh their options. Do they want, you know, do they want this? Do they need this 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 help from us? Now many people have already said there. You know, many uh, I should say. Let me clarify. There's a lot of libertarians who are isolationists. They don't want us in those countries anyway. They don't want them. They don't want us helping them. They don't want us providing military defense to them. And I say this, you know, there's a lot of benefit to helping people and countries when we can. Because there's something, there's a concept called leverage, okay? And oftentimes when you help someone, when you give them assistance, they feel an obligation. I'm not saying everyone does, but, you know, the, the rational person feels a certain obligation to you for providing them this service, okay? We can leverage that to defeat the globalist agenda. We can begin to introduce into that country the concept of freedom, the constitutional method of protecting and preserving the freedom of an individual. Other citizens from that country will see this. They will begin to see this. Now, Instead of them getting jealous, and this is what we need to express, instead of these other citizens from this country getting jealous of the American citizen, they should begin to say, wait a minute, why do we not have this same provision? Why are we denied this basic human right to be able to speak freely, to carry arms, you know, to, to, to not speak when asked, you know, when questioned by the, the law enforcement. You know, you know, when can we have, for instance, the ability to not be searched and seized illegally? So there's a lot to there's a lot there's a lot to unpack here, and I understand that it's um this is gonna be offensive to a lot of people. I mean you're talking about you are talking about something very bold, something very aggressive something that almost seems like it is and you know it is uh, anti uh, sovereignty national sovereignty because we're we're kind of chipping away at the sovereignty of another nation but you have to remember it's not because we are providing something if you I'll give you another example if you are if you are hired to do a job and they're paying you to do this job are you going to do it your way or are you going to do it the way they want you to do it? Now, I understand if you're a, con a contractor, obviously they can't tell you exactly how to structurally build something. And, uh, you know, they're not going to give you, they're not going to tell you, well, you can't build that uh, the way you want safely. We want it to be dangerously built and, and sketchily built. No, what you want to do is, of course, but in a certain design feature, when it comes to the aesthetic value of something, if they want a house to look a certain way or their bathroom to look a certain way, you're going to do it the way they want it. Same as any other profession. If you're a musician and you're playing at a wedding, if they only want 80s rock, guess what? You're not going to play, you know, hip-hop. You're not going to do that. You're going to do what they tell you to do. Why? Because they're paying you to do it. 
Well, we are paying these countries, and in many cases, not getting anything back from them. And in some cases, not even gratitude. So what do we do? There has to come a time when, what? When the bill comes due. Ah, Trump is, this is right up Trump's alley, man. This is perfect for Trump. He can come to them with his little bill. It's called the American Citizen Immunity Directive, ACID for sure. And he can say, look, you got to pay up. You got to pay up. It's time to pay the piper. For all these years, you've been getting freebies, free stuff, all on the American taxpayer. All on us. We've been taking care of these people and taking care of these nations. And what have they given us in return? In some cases, yes, some gratitude, but a lot of them, bitterness, you know, contempt. No more. No more, folks. So I want this video, I want you to share this video. I want you to get this out. This is something Trump needs to do. Because remember, it's, it's, it's the greatest way for us to not only kind of poke away, you know, chip away at the globalist agenda, but we can, we can share freedom with the rest of the world in a way that we've never been able to do it. You know, and, and you know what? If that country doesn't want our money, and if they tell, if they tell us, nope, we're going to do what we're going to do and screw you. If they do that, then we'll just pull the money and pull our defense and see what happens. You know, and in that way, of course, with that country, you know, we'll make the isolationists happy with that. You know, the libertarians who say, hey, we don't want to, you know, we shouldn't be dabbling. Well, in that country, we're not going to dabble anymore, folks. So tell me what you think about that. I don't know if you like the idea. Um, oh, and by the way, Adam, yes, Adam Geiger, thank you. Yes, I did want to mention, yeah, the younger generation is going to destroy America. So... We have to stop that. Somehow we have to find a way to stop that. And I know that's not easy, but this is one of the ways to kind of chip away. And we have Trump right now, and I think we're going to have him again for another four years. After 2020, we're going to have him again. And so this is something he needs to he needs to be, you know, this is bold. I understand it's bold. People say, well, how can you do that? How can you go, you know, look, our diplomats have immunity. Why can't the rest of our citizens have immunity? And that's what I'm talking about. Let's give every American citizen this immunity so that when we go in there, we essentially say, hey, we have the same freedoms that our Constitution provides for us. And the beauty of that is we might, we might say a few things that are going to offend that country possibly because we have freedom of speech. But really, the constitutional laws are very respectful. They are very respectful of other people. They provide so much, so much awesome things, so many wonderful things to other citizens of other countries that these countries and the people in these countries will find out, gee, what have we been, we've been sleeping all these years. We don't even know what's right. And now we're learning it just now. And so this is, we have to introduce this. And I think that's the way to do it. That's one way anyway. I mean, there's, I'm sure there's many other ways, but that's one way. So guys, remember... It is called the American Citizen Immunity Directive. ACID as the acronym. I love it. It's just corrosive to the globalist agenda. So tell me what you think. Get on here. Jump on board. Tell me what you think about that idea. I'm going to share this video myself, and I want you to share this. I'm going to try to get this to Donald Trump to, to, to let him see if, if maybe this isn't something he can do, that he can work on. Because we want, to, we want to go out boldly and share freedom with the rest of the world. And the only way to do that is you cannot bow down to countries that, first of all, are taking money from us. You, as the taxpayer, are providing those countries, you, the taxpayer, are providing those countries with income, with defense, with all these wonderful things. And that they, they're going to tell you, well, no, you have to follow our rules. I don't think so, buddy. I don't think so. We're giving you something and you think it's free? You think you're going to get something for free? You think we're going to go in there and we're going to let you treat us, you know, you know, like we're like we're slaves? You think we're going to, oh, you can't speak freely? Really? You think so? After we paid you, you dummy? After we paid you, you piece of crap? 
We have to be tough with these countries. Now it's time for the one-two punch. It's time to show them who we are. Remember, we're supporting them. We're giving them the help they need. Without us, many of these countries would have been overrun by other countries. They'd be no more. No more. It's time to go after them now. It's time to say, the bill is due, buddy. And we're going to show you how it's done. And that's what we're going to do. So, guys, I want you to get this video out to as many people as you can. Let's make this happen. It's called the American Citizen Immunity Directive. And it affords every American citizen our constitutional rights around the globe in countries that are provided with our money and our national defense. So let's get it done, guys. Is everybody with me? Because you know what? I'm getting tired of this. We've had enough. I've had enough of being pushed around by leftists and by other governments and other countries. It's all over. I'm done with it. I hope you are too. So let's get to work, guys. Please share this video. I'm telling you. I'm telling you this is important. It's not just important to me. It's important to everybody. Please share this video. And before I go, I want everybody to know... If you want to go visit my website, I am at michaelantonio.biz. That's michaelantonio.biz. But I think more importantly, and I will share this with you. We'll go back around here. I want you to take a look at this. Take a look at this here. I want you to join me on, you can join me on Instagram. Join me on Facebook. If you go to my website, which is up here, uh, michaelantonio dot biz you can actually join me on twitter um at michael antonio that is my handle at michael antonio join me on gab as well just look up michael antonio on gab and you can also this in a minute this will switch over to instagram you can join me at it's going to be michael antonio underscore luquette you find me there and of course, join me on Facebook. Go to my site. That is, uh, it's going to be michaelantonio.music. Michaelantonio.music. And you can join me, of course. This is, I want you to also go. And, well, you're, all, you're already here if you're seeing me live, of course. I want you to go to the Red, Right, and You. If you haven't seen the Red, Right, and You, Please go to the Red, Right, and You. I think it's critical. The Red, Right, and You, which is on Facebook. So, guys, once again, I want to thank you for joining me tonight. And please, share this video. This needs to go out. The American Citizen Immunity Directive. The American Citizen Immunity Directive. Acid. We must allow freedom to reign across the globe. Thank you very much. Guys, have a great night. Until next time, ciao, babies. Bye.